put the heat in that firebox there, baby. This could be one of my favorite new toys. I love cooking and I like smoked. And this is the whole thing in one. The whole enchilada right here, baby. I think this Traeger grill is gonna be my favorite new toy. All right, let's get it on. This right here is my old smoker. It's a Brinkman smoking grill. And I've used it multiple times and it works, but I tell you what, it will work you to death. There's no way to, uh, to keep track of the temperature. The only thing you have up here is a this right here where you're supposed to let's say in the ideal range right here but to keep it in the ideal range i am constantly putting charcoal in firing it up i even put an extra heat element underneath here to try to keep the heat up because i could never keep the heat up on it it is just oh my god it's it's too much work uh it does work but it is a lot of work you got to constantly maintain it to keep it going all right, this is my old grill I've been using. The KitchenAid is really nice grill, but look at this. It is totally rusted out. It is, it can't be used anymore, that's for sure. It is gone, totally rusted out. So I had to replace this, and I was looking for either a, uh, a smoker or a grill, and I think I got the best of both worlds. Let's check out this grill. Hi, this grill actually uses pellets, wood pellets for its heat source. And they slowly feed into the grill and light off. I started with a couple bags of hickory to give it a try. But they do come in all kind of um, flavors. See, they got cherry, oak, alder, maple, apple, pecan, mesquite, and hickory. So you can get all kind of flavors to flavor your food with. And I, I'm really starting to buy into the pellet theory now. I mean, they give good smoke. They get good flavor. Um, just trying it one time, and I can't believe how good it works. So anyway, let's go check it out, see how this grill actually works. All right, I just cut it on, and right now the auger's turning and slowly letting some of the little pellets come down. It's, uh, it hasn't lighted yet at all, but once it'll do, it'll slowly drop these in the box here, and then it will ignite them. All right, as you see, there's a little red down there, and it's starting to smoke. Let's get them eyes now. Oh yeah, there it goes, she's lit off now. And it's slowly allowing a little bit more to come in at a time, and it's ignited right there. Ooh, look at the smoke coming off this, looking good, check it out. It's just getting started. This thing amazes me at how accurate and how uh, easy it is to operate. All you do is put a little bit of, of pellets in here, and it automatically keeps track of it. You got a temperature probe here telling you what the temperature is, you set the temperature you want, and set it and forget it. It's nothing like my old one used to be like I just showed you. Unbelievable, man. All right, check that heat in that firebox there, baby. when you cut it on and off. I got set on 180 right now, it's at 136. So it's still cranking today. Firebox is going to town now, baby. All right, I'm gonna show you one more thing we do right here. All right, this is a grease catch tray. And the grease just drips right in here, runs in this little hole right there, and comes out and goes in the little bucket. And we put a little glass jar in here to catch the grease. I cooked that one steak on it and caught every bit of the grease right there in that one. That's really cool. Nice, easy cleanup. It's awesome. All right, now we're going to put the grill back on it. Cooking surface. Cleaned it up from uh, that one cooking I did on it. We're going to slide this right in here. And it's ready to go. It is ready for us to do some cooking. All right, let's shut her up and get it ready. Man, the steak last night and the burgers tonight were awesome. They both had a nice smoky flavor. They were juicy. I mean, they just couldn't get any better. I think this is going to be one of my new favorite toys. Look forward to a brisket or a Boston butt in the future. I see them coming. All right, stay tuned and check it out.